Hey guys, Ryan here again from the London Craftsman and today I'm making a video for you showing you how we paint all our components for our wardrobes and cabinets. As you can see there's hundreds, we've got 12 boxes here, drawers, drawer fascias which are shape styled, we've got cheeks, other doors, shelves, all of this. This is two separate jobs, one here and one here and to be honest this isn't even all of it, it's another 28 foot by 4 foot pieces to go plus more doors and as you can see there we've got a TV panel where the TV and speakers are going to go into. Um, I'll give you a quick uh, flow down of what we're painting. So we're painting this one here which is a TV media unit and this one here which is a side table with cabinets. So basically what we do, all our components are mainly made from MDF. MR MDF or um, standard MDF. If we need shakering, we'll do the shaker style panels first. So we add on the strips. We then stack everything up into piles, fill everything and sand everything with P120 and 240. Then take off all the arises with a trimmer, a little routes cut up, give it a, a mini radius. So we then go over all the edges with this up, as you can see this done. It's brilliant for sealing edges of MDF. So that's number one tip. Do not use anything else to seal your edges. This is brilliant. So you can see here, well, that's one pass with Zinsa. It covers all the edges, just ready for your undercoat or your primer and then your top coats. So as you can see here, we've got hundreds of pieces. I am now going to show you the spray room. So hold, bear with me, guys. Right, guys. So as you can see here, we bring in the pile and we rest it on a little box or a set of trestles. All ready to go. They've all been de-dusted with a nice broom and a hoover with bristles. The since has already been applied to the edges so this, this needs two coats. So what we do is it will go on our rack here. We put a little 25mm slab so it doesn't sit on anything. We then get our nailless spray with a fine finish tip so we use Graco sprayers already set up. As you can see we've got two boxes over here. Um, I oh, will show you those in a moment. And what I'll do is I'll give you a little go. So, um, a second, let me just put my mask on. Everyone's wearing a mask. Tip number two. Right. So, the spray is already set up. We've got a 310, 310 tip in this, and watch how quick it is. Go over the edge first. That is how simple it is. So, this is why we have the little packers underneath, so you get your fingers underneath. Can you see how nice that is? Can you see it in the light? Yeah? You see the edge? Perfect. Okay, so that would go in the drying rack um, for a few hours because it's water-based paint. We're using an acrylic water-based primer, Johnstones. We put it in the rack, so as you can see, well, this is all our racking here purpose built on twin stop racking. We then just put it in our rack. And what I generally do is I put stuff that only need one face done in a certain part of the rack, things that need to be flipped over on another side, another part of the rack. This side is for my long pieces, this side is for my shorter pieces, and this side. So as you can see, a few bits have been done. It's as simple as that really. We're gonna work through the pile. So as long as it's already been, already been zinsered on the edges and it's already been de-dusted, it's ready to go, I'll give you one more go. So again, we've got a 310 tip, fine finish tip. The gun is set at maybe about 1800 PSI. We're using a Grey Co 390 PC airless sprayer. So have a look how quick it is. That is it guys, so that is all you need for your primer. Once that is dry, you go over with P240 on an orbital sand up very, very quickly. Literally a five second pass on this and a five second pass on the edge. That is then ready for your top coat. So I'll show you again. So it goes in our rack here. And then what I'll do is I'll show you the paint that we use. This is a pretty decent undercoat primer, primer undercoat. It's a John Stone's Trade, John Krill. Great stuff for your undercoat. That goes through the gun nice and easy. Top coats will use a 
Um, we'll just use a Dulux. It's wrapped up because we lost the lid. I don't know if you can see it. It's basically a Dulux diamond eggshell. Yeah, not a very great example. But it's always an eggshell for our top coat. Because our LF sprayer is so powerful, it sprays out so much paint. It's, it's effectively doing two coats for us in one hit. So we do one primer, let that dry, rub it down, de dust it, bring it back in, and then we'll do our eggshell top coat. And that's all you need, and it comes out absolutely perfectly. So I'll show you the sprayers. I put these on to soundproof. So we've got two sprayers set up. This is our old machine, it's a three night, no, this is a Graco Pro Step. As you can see, this is where it sucks the paint in. We've got water here to rinse out our gum. We've got paint here to put it in when we need it. This is our top coat machine. It's a more powerful machine. We're gonna put a 410 tip in this, fine finish, so it gives us an, a fan width of eight inches, less likely to have spray marks. And this one is a newer sprayer. It's a, a 390 PC sprayer. Similar sprayer, all 110. This is running our uh, this is running our undercoat. So this is the undercoat I just showed you. Again, we've got our water to rinse out when we're finished. At the end of the day, we rinse our machines out and store our tips in water. And that is it, guys. Um, that is our setup. As you can see, the pile in the workshop we showed you before is maybe 200 pieces. Apart from drying time, our work time to get that all done is maybe eight to ten hours of actual labor time the rest is sitting in the racks if you're going to do that with a roller as separate components that's a week's worth of work if you're going to do it when the wardrobe's already made don't even think about it it's not going to be a great finish um, if you've got the space all you need is one wall really to do your rack you, you know on your twin slot, slot um, shelving it gives you lots of space that's it guys, invest in a nice decent Graco sprayer, four five hundred pounds on a 390 is your decent lowest lowest one I would say to go for. Any better specs is better, so 390 is the lowest spec to go for. And that's it. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any other questions for me or you want to know anything about spraying, colours, how to prime, um, preparation, anything, just let me know and we can make a video for you guys. Alright, please like the video and subscribe. Cheers.